This is this is where the bullshit questions happen, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> uh, on the ASU website, uh, you oh know, boy. they have this like whole questionnaire, you know, I think when you first joined <laughs> ASU. So this was, I don't know how many, how, probably like five years ago. It says, if you just won a lottery, what would be your very first purchase? And it says a Trackman. I feel like you've come... <laughs> very far since i'm pretty sure you have a track man and then some uh when you look back at you know which is obviously not that far back but when you signed with asu to where you are now uh what have you learned about yourself and how much have you grown since no yeah i mean thankfully yeah i i, I own a i own a uh foresight now which you know which is uh, <laughs> No, but yeah, I mean, I, I think I learned a lot, right? Um, me being from Spain and I I played a, I played a lot, um, you know, around Europe and I, I I was at the U.S. maybe like a couple of times um, because of tournaments. But I mean, I was based and, you know, grew up in Spain. So just making that move to the States was big and just, you know, leaving my parents and family back in Spain was was a pretty, you know, a pretty hard and, and different move and that maybe I, what I was, you know, or what I had in mind. But I mean, I'm, I'm super glad I made that decision and ASU taught me a lot. Um, the coaches and, and all my teammates um, were, were great. And, and I learned, I learned a lot through that and obviously a, a new language pretty much. And, and since I become professional, um, I mean, just more and more i i think i keep learning every day right i mean i've i've probably visited asia maybe like a couple times um for tournaments before before i was professional and and now i mean i've been pretty much to every country in asia and it's it's obviously a little shocking like culturally shocking um whatever we go but but it's it's just great to visit those places and play there as well as pretty much the rest of the world so it's it's been great and i i feel i just you know keep learning and learning every day uh well you've had some obviously great success here in asia so you must love asia especially singapore right i mean, yeah. I mean speaking of asia and your first you know your professional win how, what was it like uh winning your very first professional tournament no yeah it felt it felt amazing i I came up close like three or four times before that, but I just, you know, couldn't get it done and, and just, you know, going to Singapore and, and having those first three rounds, those, you know, the first three rounds I had and just leading the tournament by that margin was, you know, it felt great. Nine, and I, yeah. nine shot lead going into the final round in Singapore. No, yeah, it felt it felt amazing. Obviously, the last round I played a little more conservative, but but I I think I played pretty good as well. And 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 yeah, I mean Singapore is a great place. I like it. Um, it's a little hot for me, but besides besides that, I like it. I think it's I think it's just a cool place to to visit and to be right. So so it was it was very cool. You're going to be able to write a worldwide travel guide for people because. Starting in Mayakoba, you, I, I read the Doug Ferguson article. I think it was 10 events in 10 different countries, including the win in Singapore on the International Series, including a win on the, uh, on the Asian Tour, and a playoff loss in the International Series in Macau. Um, 10 different countries, 10 weeks without returning home. That's a young man's kind of adventure right there. But you're playing some really important golf in pursuit of uh, world golf ranking points. Uh, and trying to play within the the system as it's set right now, how taxing was that? How do you how do you perform at your highest level when you're doing all that? No, yeah, I mean, I definitely have a lot of miles on those, you know, on those airlines. Um, I'm I should be on top of every airline pretty much right now. After <laughs> yeah. travel, but no, but yeah, it was good. It was seven weeks in a row, and then I and then I think I I took maybe like a week off and played a little more, but it was. I mean, it was crazy, honestly, because because I mean, there's obviously people that plays or plays seven weeks in a row, but somewhat close, you know. But in my case, we went from Mexico to Vegas to Malaysia to Oman, and then I think it was Saudi and Hong Kong, and then Macau. So it was, I mean, I 
pretty much went around the world. So, so yeah, I was very tired for sure after I, after I finished, but, but yeah, it paid off. I mean, I had two decent, two decent results on live um, in a row. And obviously I played, I played pretty good on the Asian tour, which allowed me to, you know, to go to, or to get in the PGA, which, which was great. So, so yeah, I, I think I made the right decision, but it was for sure very exhausting. Uh, speaking of that decision, uh, to play seven weeks in a row and play more golf outside of the live schedule, uh, was that your own decision or, you know, were there people around you that were encouraging you to do it or people that you talked to for advice uh, that encouraged you to do that? Not really. It was it was my my own decision. Um, obviously, I you know I talked to the team and and you know they they usually support me if if I feel good they they support whatever I want to do. But but in my case was was more about you know keep keep learning that experience as well as I I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna um, miss Malaysia just because they had that open spot and obviously it, it paid off and and then. Um, the rest of, of the tournaments were, I mean, I, I wanted to, you know, I want to play the majors and I want to play all these big events. Right. So, so I, th I think I needed to play those if I wanted to qualify for, for the majors and, and hopefully the Olympics. So it was, it was pretty much that, I mean, that was the target pretty much just to play those and play good. Going into the PGA, you had the second spot for Spain in the uh, rankings for the Olympics. Um, where did, did you, have you taken a peek at where you are now? Are you still there? I think I'm still second. Um, I have a couple, couple of Spaniards super close, but I think it's going to be between you know the four of us. Um, maybe, maybe five. I know John is obviously, he's obviously in, but but for the second spot, I think it's going to be three or four of us that are going to battle it in this next month. But but yeah, it's going to be you know it's going to be fun. Um, I, I don't have I don't have as many as many opportunities as they do, but hopefully if I can make it to the US Open and 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 have a good week there, that's that's the last event that counts um towards the Olympics. So so that's my only chance. They have more chances, but but yeah, hopefully I'm I'm in Paris with John. That'd be that would be cool. I don't know if your play abroad has taken any kind of toll on you. It would if you were older, I can promise you it would. I don't know if it has on you, but your play in Asia has been outstanding. You haven't finished worse than 15th in all of those uh, other events you've played. Uh, you've had two 15th place finishes in Live in Vegas and in Jeddah. Um, but it, as Sue Ann mentioned, it hasn't been your best start. What has been the difference in your play on those events, in those events, versus in the seven Live events you've played? Yeah, I I don't really know. You know, every everybody asked me the same question, which which you know I kind of ended up asking it myself as well right um, and i don't i don't find any differences i mean at the end of the day it's like i think it just happened because it happened i i think the i think the level of my game is is the same in in both in both tours um maybe my short game was a little better on the asian tour and you know those maybe one or two putts per round that kind of give you that momentum to score a little better but but I mean, I think I've been playing pretty good on Liv. I just, I just didn't score the way I, I was supposed to do it. And and same thing happened on the PGA as well a little bit. So it's obviously frustrating. Um, I'm I'm working on it. And but I'm I'm pretty. I mean, I'm pretty positive. I think I'm, I think I'm playing good golf. And and the results are gonna come because because the the rest of the game is there. It's just I just gotta kind of put it all together to to start um, playing better or scoring better. We've had um, multiple guests uh, on our podcast uh, till date, and everyone says how difficult it is to get into the top 24. Now, is that something you think about a lot? Does that put additional pressure on you? Um, did you feel like maybe that's why you haven't performed as well on live as you want to? Yes and no. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously, you know, um, looking to my, to my objectives, um, throughout the year and my targets, and you know, and where I want to finish and what I want to do, 
and I think that's part of the process just to, you know, just to maybe pick three or four goals and kind of try to, you know, just to prove them and just complete them. Right. And, but, but at the end of the day, for me, it's just more just trying to score the best way I can in, in every single hole and event, obviously. Right. So, so maybe it is up there, especially if you're not playing that good, you know, so you, you always kind of have in mind um, just to at least get to that 24th place where you can somehow get points. But, but I mean, believe it or not, at the end of the day, like I, I play golf because I want to win. So so I'm I'm focusing more on that first place rather than the 24th because that's what I want to do. And also for me, like this, like the spots where I finish, it doesn't matter that much. Like I, I'm always gonna try to finish um thirty third instead of thirty fourth, and I'm always gonna try to finish twenty first and twenty second or eighth and ninth, right? So I'm, 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 I never, I never give up. That's something I, I, I like to do. Uh, I complain a lot, and I, you know, throw clubs and I, you know, talk shit all the time, but I'm. I never, I never give up because this is, you know, just who I am. And I, and yeah, that's my, that's my mentality.